Hello, this is Richard Gill and this is the third in my series of vlogs on living with the CCM Spitfire Cafe Racer. Those of you who have seen the earlier videos will know I was struggling a little bit with the clutch lever. I found it a bit of a stretch. Um, I've been doing some finger stretch stretching exercises since and uh, using a stress ball um, and that's improved uh, my wrist strength a lot and I'm finding it a lot more comfortable and actually pretty happy now with the standard Cafe Racer bars. You should be able to hear the exhaust noise on this video. Um, this is absolutely the standard exhaust. I haven't altered it in any way. So this is as it sounds as it comes out of the factory. It does make a beautiful burble on uh, deceleration. And uh, I don't see any reason to alter the exhaust at all. Now it was recommended to me to avoid uh, getting a flat battery when you walk away from the bike but when you stop don't just use the uh, stop on the dashboard because that doesn't switch off the, the ignition but you should get off the bike and actually turn it off using the uh, little key fob and that way you have completely uh, shut everything down and there's no danger of you uh, walking back to find you've got a flat battery. Now some people have asked me about how to uh, remove the filler cap. So you simply press it down, turn it quarter of a turn anti-clockwise and it then pops up so you can unscrew it and then reverse procedure to put it back on. In this case you press it down, turn it a quarter of a turn clockwise and it locks into place. Now a disappointing thing for me is that I've got some uh, rust on the frame. Uh, this is under the um, lacquer or acrylic coating uh, that they put on the frame. Um, you can see these little brown fleck marks on the frame. I've reported to, to CCM. Uh, they have had a few bikes with this problem and straight away agreed they would do a frame swap. I have to say I'm a little bit frustrated with the procedure on that because uh, I reported this uh, over two months ago and I still haven't got a date from them as to when they're going to pick the bike up and initiate the frame change. Um, but I'm sure they'll work that out and I'll keep you updated in my next video. Thanks very much for watching.